Friends, many of us were shocked by the powerful earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria on 16th of February, which has already claimed nearly 50,000 lives. Once again, nature has shown its strength. And the question arises as to what is actually happening with earthquakes in Europe and its vicinity. Many people think that Europe is a continent that is virtually unaffected by earthquakes and that, if anything, the earthquakes are weak and that this is a matter for distant places. Unfortunately, this is a fundamental misconception. There are several areas in Europe that are very risky in terms of earthquakes. We will find out which areas there are in this new video. Welcome to a new video on Top Topics channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and let's get going on to the new video. Thousands of earthquakes hit Europe every year, but most of them are too small to be felt. Nevertheless, from time to time, an earthquake does occur that causes considerable damage. So which countries are most at risk? For example, the non-profit network European Facilities for Earthquake Hazard and Risk states that Turkey, Greece, Albania, Italy and Romania are the countries with the highest earthquake risk in Europe. But that does not mean that earthquake cannot strike elsewhere. Scientists have even concluded that even in areas of low seismic hazard, an earthquake can occur at any time and cause severe damage. But such a probability is small. In the recent years, many European countries have paid more attention to the completion of standards that can ensure adequate protection against earthquakes which is particularly relevant to the construction industry. It is in the example of Turkey that we can see the consequences of neglecting building standards, an issue that is now rocking the Turkish political scene. Turkish President Erdogan promised in 1999, after the devastating earthquake in Izmir, to build the regulations. In the end, this did not happen and nobody did anything about it. Quite the opposite, Erdogan eventually legalized black construction. We see the consequences today. Earthquakes pose the greatest threat to densely populated urban areas. For example, Izmir in Turkey, Catania and Naples in Italy, Bucharest in Romania, and Athens in Greece have suffered major losses from earthquakes many times in history. In fact, these four countries alone experience almost 80% of all earthquakes in Europe. The largest earthquakes in Europe usually occur on tectonic fault lines that stretch from Iceland in northwest Europe, which is on the mid-Atlantic ridge, to the North Anatolian fault zone in Turkey in the southeast. The Balkan and Mediterranean countries like Turkey, with such denser populations living in highly vulnerable regions, have a long history of devastating and deadly earthquakes. More remote areas such as the highly active and dangerous seismic zone of Iceland leave much smaller populations vulnerable to the hazard. For example, a strong earthquake in Iceland in 7084, estimated magnitude 7.2, caused severe damage to farms. In contrast, the first of a series of recent earthquakes in central of Italy in August 2016, magnitude 6.2, resulted in 299 deaths and caused severe damage to the entire town, leaving 4,500 people homeless. Other earthquakes in the southern Europe and Turkey have cost thousands of lives in the last six years. Earthquakes in Europe are essentially the result of stresses in the Earth's crust, the source of which is plate tectonics. Most of the European landmass is surrounded by the Eurasian plate, which moves mainly towards the neighboring African plate to the south the Anatolian microplate to the southeast and North American plate to the west. Between Europe and Africa, there are several other microplates that cause seismic activity. 
especially in the Mediterranean area, including the Alpine region. These processes play an important geological role in the formation of the European mountains. For example, the Alps were formed by the collision of the Euro-Asian and African plates, which began 50 million years ago and continues to this day. The most destructive earthquake in recorded European history struck the Strait of Messina in southern Italy in 98, flattening the cities of Messina on Sicily and Reggio di Calabria on the Italian mainland. The 7.1 magnitude earthquake and tsunami caused an estimated 100,000 casualties. The economic damage was considerable as Messina was an important Mediterranean port. The largest earthquake in recent years in wider Europe was a 7.6 magnitude earthquake that occurred on 16th of August 1999 in Dernis, Turkey. It shook buildings, cut electricity and telephone lines and drove terrified residents into the streets. The earthquake caused more than 17,100 deaths. It also triggered a tsunami that killed 155 people. Just a few months after this earthquake, one of the aftershocks shook Turkey again. This time, the epicenter of the earthquake was about 100 kilometers east of the August earthquake. The 7.2 magnitude earthquake caused considerable damage in the Turkish town of Dasce and claimed between 850 and 900 lives. The earthquake that claimed the most lives in 2020 occurred on 13th of October in Samos, Greece. It claimed 119 lives, more than 100 people were injured and many buildings were severely damaged. It also triggered a tsunami. The 1977 Romanian earthquake struck on the evening of 4th of March 1977, mainly in eastern and central Romania and the town of Swishtov, located in northern Bulgaria. The earthquake had a magnitude of about 7.2, making it the second strongest earthquake in Romania. The quake killed around 1,578 people in Romania and 120 people in Bulgaria in the town of Svistov. Two more people died in Moldova. The tremor is the deadliest known earthquake in Romania's history. These examples show that earthquakes are quite common in Europe and that it is necessary to be prepared for them. Earthquakes are one of the most destructive natural elements and cannot only devastate entire inland areas but can also generate devastating tsunamis that can destroy vast coastal areas over long distances. Friends, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out any videos in the future. That's it and see you next time.